Yo, it's your boy AG back again with another episode of Avatar The Last Airbender. Last episode was probably the best of the season, right? It was probably the best so far of the season, right? As much as I like Sokka Swordmaster, bro, like, you're not gonna, I, I, you're not gonna top an episode that got blood bending, like, bro. <laughs> that shit had me sitting for a few minutes before I started this recording. I'm just like, yo, what, what else is they hiding, bro? What else they got in the back ski? Like, what they got back there? Like, what, what are we doing next? We got bone bending? Is that a fucking subset of Earth? They fucking bending marrow and shit? I don't fucking know. <laughs> But they hide and shit now. They hide and shit. You're not just gonna leave blood bending until the the last season. But what kind of fuck shit is that? I want to see some more of Hama. Might catch a Hami if I don't see some more Hama. <laughs> Let me stop, bro. <laughs> I had a can of Pepsi and I'm a little peppered up. Okay, so relax. <laughs> I'm a little peppered up. <laughs> but now on the for real. I feel like I've been saying this a lot lately. I don't know where the fuck this show is going, bro. Because we're still waiting on this invasion, and they still got shit in the back secret. So I'm like, maybe we got, maybe we still got a little bit more time before this invasion shit pops off. I'm just like, yo, what, what else are they gonna show me, bro? I'm expecting probably like an ally within the Fire Nation pretty soon, because you know we always kind of get like an ally in like each, uh, uh, I guess kingdom or nation or whatever, you know. Technically. Sokka and Katar for water, you know, maybe if you want to count like Jet because he was in that first season Season two, you know, we got tough, you know We're two for two. <laughs> I'm not saying it's a trend or anything, but you know, maybe uh, maybe a friend ski You know, maybe a new character Kind of late for a new character introduction. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe somebody we already know, you know, my boy Jong Jong <laughs> I'm still waiting for Jong Jong. Where the fuck is Suki, bro? Where's Haru? I'm joking. Nobody asking for Haru. He can stay his ass wherever he is. <laughs> no Haru shade. Nah, full shade on Haru. His ass was bored. I'm sorry. I said it. His ass was bored. <laughs> I had to have long shot on the team. <laughs> I was my guy, bro. <laughs> When he finally told him, boy, had, had the voice smooth as velvet. Mm. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> but I, I, I truly don't know, man. <laughs> Maybe we can get another Combustion Man episode. That would be pretty dope. I'm always down to see some more Combustion Man. Because give me a fucking backstory, my G. That's, that's all I want. I like these characters too much. Give me, a, give me a little backstory. Come on, man. What the fuck is going on with the third eye? Is it a tattoo? Was it a birthmark? What's going on? Why does the fire come out of there? <laughs> Can he bend regularly? I don't know. Does he have arms and legs? Or are they just like amputated? Because he got the metal gauntlet and the metal foot. Like, is there actual foot there? That would be uncomfortable. I don't know. See, these are the questions I need answered. But, you already know the vibes, man. Goofy has must be engaged. I need to start this episode. <laughs> Alright, yo, real quick. Things might look a little bit off or a little bit different. Or you might not notice anything. But, <laughs> just real quick. The second I started the episode for the reaction, my webcam actually died. And it's taken no shit. Like, three hours to get the shit even on again. So... Just a little FYI, if like the color looks a little bit yellow or orangish, your boy had to put in all of the like the settings for like my colors and all that shit, all the filters and whatnot manually because your boy did not write down my prior settings. So yeah, that's what happened between now and the the pre ramble. It's been like three fucking hours. Your boy's actually kind of tired because I've been trying to debunk what the fuck happened to my webcam. Shit, might be time to buy a new one. But we're actually gonna dive into the show now. <laughs> I believe Aang can save the world. Uh, Alright, cool. Book 3 Fire, Chapter 9 Nightmares and Daydreams. Oh, okay. And those are sheep. Okay. The invasion's in four days? Four days. Oh, shit. Okay. Whatever. So we getting there. We getting there. So uh, I'm gonna say, like, what? Four, four more episodes until we there? Damn. Sokka's got the right idea, Aang. We're here, we're ready. The best thing we can do now is get plenty of rest. I guess. You boy looking a little anxious there. Get it? Anxious? Alright, I need to... It's been a long day, y'all. It's been a long day. <laughs> Laugh. <laughs> Your days of tyranny are over, Fire Lord. 
what, 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 what am I looking at? <laughs> How do you plan on doing that when you are not even wearing pants? Oh no! Okay. <laughs> I think I get the gimmick for this episode. He's gonna be having nightmares about like the upcoming war. The head up with the Fire Lord and, and like everybody. This could be interesting. Uh, di diving into something. About Stay Aang, we, we haven't really talked about outwardly well, with the crew, keep training. you know what I'm saying? Because we all knew that he had to go have this head up with Ozai eventually, right? That's, that's, that's gotta be the big, that's the big showdown. I never really thought about him. Fresh fruit. Zuko? My boy scared or what? May I wash your feet, sir? Head massage? Hot towel? Yeah, hey, get one of those. Hey, yeah, treat yourself, Prince. <laughs> treat yourself. Okay, Superstar Zuko. Mm? You didn't take the palanquin. I'm just going to Maze House. It's not far. Mm -hmm. It's not a princess. My boy to used to the anywhere. travel life. He, you know, I walk everywhere nowadays. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> There's no way. Don't stop right here. All right, all right, <laughs> all right. My man punching a whole tree. <laughs> Someone talk to little man's. Hey, how long have you been up? A couple hours. I got a lot more skills. Uh, so what? Now it's like three days until the invasion. You know Thing is overtraining. Mm. You don't get it, do you? My form is bad, I'm sloppy, and I still don't know. Now that I think I about it, now that he's like kind of basics. like being a little shaken up, we don't really okay. know about a lot about uh Ozai, do we? Anyway. You don't need to know any. Like it's his man's like really nice, cause okay. the only dub well, we I'm know that he got is over a ten year old Zuko. And I don't know if that carries any weight in the streets. <laughs> Nighttime again. Damn, are we really gonna fly through these four days? Alright, bro. <laughs> My boy got the master lock on the pants? What is that? That, that is the master lock, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that shook me. I was like, oh, not the math test. Not pre calc. <laughs> I've gotta be ready. Damn, bro, you gotta be ready to carry the two. Ang, sleep. Please. For me. Yeah, listen to the show, dude. If you can have anything you wanted right now, what would it be? Hmm. A big fancy. <laughs> okay. Guitar. My boy Mac and cupcake and with shorty, okay? Alright, enjoy your life. That would be impressive. The reckoning shall come from betraying Ira. Fresh fruit tart for the lady with rose petals on top. Excellent choice, sir. I guess there are some nice perks that come with being royalty. Though there's annoying stuff too, like that all-day war meeting coming up. War meeting? What are you talking about? Azula mentioned something. I. I assumed you were going too. I mm. guess I wasn't invited. Mm. When you think people fuck with you, but they don't really Wake fuck up, with you like that. Wake up, sleepyhead. Oh nah. Rise and shine. You overslept. You missed the invasion. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I was like, Loki, this kinda soothing, bro. Ozai ASMR? Hold on! That might be a hit on YouTube! Who's talking? Ow! Oh. Relax! Was that a hippo cow? Two days before the invasion. Go drink that! Why? Alright, let's just In my dream, Oh, that's not right in the middle of the invasion. And you had to stop to use the bathroom. We died because of your tiny bladder. And you need to start wearing your hair up. In my dream, your hair got caught in a tree. My boy is going through I know it. You're just trying to help, but you really need to get a grip. 
I shouldn't be laughing at his anxiety, but my oh boy is You're right. He's tapped right now. My mind. It's like every time I think about how stressed I am, I just end up more stressed. I'm like a big growing snowball of nerves. Of course you are. That's because you gotta fight the Fire Lord, the baddest man on the planet. And you better win or we're all done for. Is he really nice though? Like we we don't know nothing about the Fire Lord, like yo. Oh, 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 every time we sit, we see him, he just sitting, bro. You know like, he really I just sitting. Unless he was, like, you know. Harman Zuko. <laughs> As a kid. Other than that, he don't carry no weight in the streets. <laughs> Ooh. It's kind of a vibe. How are you feeling? I feel... I don't know why it reminded me of, uh, We Fit. Like, there's this warm feeling all around me. Like, I'm in the Fire Lord's palace and he's shooting a bunch of fireballs at me. And the whole world is being engulfed in flames! Maybe your stress is... <laughs> this is a, this is an interesting episode. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it, but this is an interesting Why episode. Why don't you get right down to business and tell me what's been bothering you? You know what's bothering me. Wait, is this a Return of Wayne Fire? Fire Lord in a few days. That's the name, right? <laughs> His alias? about this fire lord why are you so afraid of him he's the baddest man on the planet i'm supposed to defeat him and save the world life does feel that way sometimes doesn't it like we're all trying to save the world from evil <laughs> okay but what can i do to feel better want to try screaming into this pillow is this really what therapy's like i've never been i've never been <laughs> I just peeped. <laughs> ah, these idiots. But was that a koala and a sheep mixed together? <laughs> I thought it was just a sheep. Stupid me, it's Avatar. It's more than just a sheep. I'm afraid you'll have to wait. So I guess there's a big war meeting coming up, huh? Uh -oh. And apparently I'm not welcome there. What do you mean? Of course you're welcome there. Oh yeah? I guess that's why no one bothered to tell me about it. Oh, Zuko, don't be so dramatic. I'm certain Dad wants you there. I'm not gonna lie, that hair treatment is kinda so A1. obvious that you're supposed to be there. Well, were you invited? Of course. I'm the princess. <laughs> and I'm the prince. Exactly. So stop acting like a paranoid child. Just go to the meeting. Forget it. I'm not going. This is an interesting Piccadilly. It's like, he wasn't right. outright what invited. Is a good old but like, as Ola said, your you're the prince. Down you should just show up, right? But isn't the war meeting the thing where, where he kind of spoke out of line before? Or was that something else? I think it was a war meeting. That's why he's all stressed Sorry, about it. I forgot you have baby skin. Well, there's one other thing we can try. Acupuncture. Alright. <laughs> Not blind acupuncture. I'm, I'm super good. <laughs> Zuko, it's just a dumb meeting. Who cares? I don't. Well, good. I mean, why would you even want to go? Just think about how things went at the last war meeting you went to. <sighs> okay, so. You know, only it was the last better. one. Ordering some servants around. I might be hungry for a whole tray of fruit tarts. This sir, see, me a real one. Ride around town. Yeah. Night, night out with your girl or a night in. You know, get some Uber Eats. Get yourself a nice little coupon. Maybe add her to the Thanks group, you know what I'm saying? So, no Netflix. Ready for a good night's sleep? Uh, Man's I all stressed for the wrong reasons. I sort of might slightly feel a little better. But you looking spooky. I just peep, it's balding again. I kind of miss this design, I'm not gonna cap. A little creepy. Okay. This is a little odd. I'm starting to wonder if this is like Avatar stuff now and more than just nightmares, you know? Oh shit, old Zuko? Because it's kind of like he's seeing his peoples get bodied.
See, I'm what wondering if this that? is some it's Avatar foreshadowing shit. They just get worse and worse. Looks like it's time for another therapy session. <laughs> no, that won't help. Nothing helps. There's only one thing I can do. I'm gonna stay awake straight through to the invasion. Oh no, baby. Oh no. That's not it. <laughs> that ain't the move. <laughs> I thought he was gonna say something else. <laughs> oh <don't>, no. <laughs> So he got one more night to figure this shit out. You, Aang, staying up all night can't be good for you. Mm. Actually, staying up all night has given me some time to think. And I've realized some big things, Katara. I see everything so clearly now. What really matters? Why I'm really doing this? I'm doing well, it that boy has world. some time to think. I'm doing some time it time. I'm doing it for you, Katara. Aang. Did he get taller too? Saying? The hell? <laughs> I'm saying, I love you. Wait, what? <laughs> what? What are we doing? What our hearts have been telling us to do for a long, long Not time. Not where I expected this shit to Baby, go. Baby, you're my forever girl. <laughs> hey. Alright, so this is a dream. Huh? I was okay. just saying you should take <laughs> Oh, I guess I kind of drifted off into a daydream. What was your dream about? Uh, living underwater? Sounds neat. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds neat. <laughs> Prince Zuko, everyone's waiting for you. What? The High Admirals, High Generals, the War Ministers, and the Princess have all arrived. You're the only person missing. So, oh, that's what's up. The meeting? The it's worth that he wasn't invited, though, arrive, but sir. you know, if they're all actually waiting for him, that's what's up. That's a come up for Zook Zook. Not the thing. Hey, I'm trying to build oh, oh. off of some armor here so he doesn't have to go into the invasion naked. He's your See, bison. this is what I fuck with my boy Sokka, bro. He out here thinking for my boy Appa. Protection. <laughs> Safety. I was ready to have him go out here naked. Boy, you are really starting <laughs> to lose it, kid. Momo? Did you hear something? Yo, get this man to no, bed, bro. He's I thinking Momo so. could talk. Uh, you, my friend, are just a few plums short of a fruit pie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Momo, let me explain. <laughs> Yo, a boy is stabbed. <laughs> Hey, make sure y'all get a full night's sleep, bro. About I'm sorry for my people with insomnia. I can relate. I got that shit too. And you're acting downright weird. I can relate with y'all. You've got to take care of yourself. You can't go on like this. Uh, look, I appreciate what you guys are saying, but the stress and the nightmares. <laughs> Why does my boy look like he about much. to deliver a whole ass Stay keynote, bro? Give him some of those circular it. rim glasses. Yeah, <laughs> Maybe a turtleneck, some khakis. That's my boy Alpha Jobs. <laughs> No, oh shit. I'm sick of this guy always mouthing off and telling me what to do. Oh, you don't like it? Well, let's go right now. Sokka, what should we do? About what? This is this about is a special that? episode. Uh, that's that's all I'll say about this one. <laughs> this is a special <laughs> what the fuck. I don't even know where to start, bro. But I need this to be a spin-off. I need this to be a spinoff. <laughs> I might fuck around and make me a fanfic. <laughs> Take the tales of Ronin, Ronin Momo and Samurai Appa. <laughs> Come on, guys, we're all on the same side. Chakras, chakras, everybody loves chakras, chakras, chakras. Chocolate sandwich is good. Yum. Alright, bro. <laughs> this episode got it. <laughs> this episode got it. Even the stump? I 
I'm really wondering how he's gonna get out of so, this one mentally. Because like everything's kind of just crashing down Everyone on him. Everyone welcomed me. My father had saved me a seat. He wanted me next to him. I was literally at his right hand. Mm. Zuko, that's wonderful. Interesting how they didn't you show us the, the war meeting though. Like I want I wonder if it was like something important, but I guess not. <laughs> During the meeting, I was the perfect prince. The son my father wanted. But I wasn't me. I guess it was more it was less about the war meeting itself and more about the implications of it, you know, just like him being invited and shit. I thought there was actually something going down at the war meeting. And he was, you know, feeling the type oh, of way, but I guess it was just him being invited. Bed made out of clouds. Hey, it's real. We spent hours working on it. Damn, rip the Look, koala bear sheep. Got <laughs> here, cold shiver. I don't need sleep. What I need is practice. All right, Toph might need to knock him out. I'm not going to hit you. You want me to do it? Listen to me. Uh, there you go. I've been training for this since the day we met. I've seen your progress. You're smart, brave, and strong enough. Talk to him, Katara. You really think so? We all do. You can do this. You're ready. It's kind of crazy to think, like, we've been with this boy, and he ain't know his mission since, like, the Solstice episode, but, like, he really has been just training for this, this whole time. I never really thought about it, but, damn. You know what? I think I am Feeling like a, like a proud dad and shit. Like, my boy been working hard, man. Your days of tyranny are over, Fire Lord! Really? And I just Your noticed, is it a different out. Fire Lord in here every time he has a dream? Because <laughs> they all don't really kind of look like Ozai. You're not wearing pants. <laughs> not the Uno reverse. No! <laughs> My royal parts are showing! <laughs> <sighs> hey, give him hell tomorrow, bro. Give him hell. <laughs> That was an episode. <laughs> that was an episode. Well, <laughs> spent three hours fixing this webcam, and that was an interesting episode to come back and see. You know, <laughs> that was a. I I don't know how I feel about that episode. <laughs> I really don't. A lot of things was happening there. On one hand, I really enjoyed the aspect of like Aang actually kind of feeling like the pressure. And having all that kind of weigh on him the day or the days before. Like having, you know, the big confrontation with Ozai and like the invasion and whatnot. Because like he's really about to pull up on Ozai's block and bleeding and shit. But like, I guess that realization never really hits until like days before or the day before. Kind of like a, kind of like a big event in your own life, you know? <laughs> but on the other hand, I don't know. If this episode feels like an episode that I enjoyed, but also an episode that I probably wouldn't watch again. <laughs> I feel like it has that first watch enjoyment. I don't know, I might be talking on my ass right now, but it kind of has that first watch enjoyment, in my opinion. And then like, I don't know. I don't think this was an episode where I'd be like, hmm, I think I'll, I'll, I'll enjoy this a second time around. <laughs> Because while stuff did happen, not really a lot happened. I feel like I could have went from like the last episode into whatever the next episode is. Which, by the way, I don't know how they would like fit another episode or episodes in between this and the next one. Because I'm assuming like the next episode has to be in the invasion, right? Because they said tomorrow's the invasion. <laughs> I don't know if they can pull like a flashback episode. I wouldn't be mad at like a, a Roku style episode. Uh, the, the Avatar on the Fire Lord style episode. I would not be mad at that because I love that episode. <laughs> but, well, assuming the next episode is indeed the invasion. Would that make it... The, would that make... Would it make it... Would that be the finale? I don't know the episode count, but I'm pretty sure past seasons have been longer, but... This is not something, it wouldn't be something new for like the final season to be shorter and more condensed in the show. This has happened a lot of times before in other shows, but I doubt it. And if it's the invasion, I'm expecting a two-parter 
I'm expecting a two-parter because I feel like that's a big event. <laughs> so I don't know if that would be the finale of the show. But I, like I said, I doubt it because I feel like we have too many loose ends, you know? Like, for one, where's my girl Suki? We haven't heard nothing. We haven't heard Nathan. Zula hasn't talked about her. Sokka has surprisingly not talked about her, even though he kind of talked about Yue. I think probably like the last episode or something like that, or at least he referenced her a couple of times. But nothing on Suki. That was up with that. Combustion Man. Where are we going with him? But there's no way this next episode could be the last episode. I'm not going to watch. I'm not going to look at the, the episode count. I'm just going to, you know, let the episodes ride out. <laughs> but if we're invading the Fire Nation, if we're invading the Fire Lord, I'm just going to assume something's going to go bad. <laughs> because we have way too many loose ends for shit, for Aang to just waltz up in there with his crew and things to go sweetly. It ain't sweet out here. <laughs> I don't think it's sweet out here. Fire Nation got shooters, bro. And if we're going into a Fire Nation for invasion, they got Zuko. They got Azula. They got Fire Lord, which I'm going to talk about in a second. I'm pretty sure Combustion Man should pop up because he's hired by Zuko. They they got shooters. They got May and Ty Lee there. <laughs> so it feels like if they're throwing hands, they got, they got to go through a lot of people. I don't know, bro. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> So I'm going to assume some bad shit's going down because, like, say they get, like, the Water Tribe people, like, Sokka's dad, I don't know how, how, how far Sokka's dad is, I don't know if he got hands like that, <laughs> but, I don't know, bro, they might be a little bit outmanned, I'm not going to say outgunned, because our crew is nasty, but they might be a little bit outmanned, like, both sides got talent. But I think, I think Fire Nation side might have a little bit more talent right there. Azula's broken. That's what I'm getting to. Azula's broken. <laughs> Azula's broken. <laughs> that's what I'm getting to. But yeah, Ozai. One thing about this episode, though, that I guess I did like, because it made me realize something. We haven't really seen much about this man, like, at all. And, like, I've come to the terms that, like, I'm not really, I'm not gonna say I'm not afraid of him, but it's like, as like kind of the penultimate villain right i don't know he, he kind of holds no weight to me i think it's because we barely see him he's always kind of this ominous force in the background like of course he's like the one pulling thing pulling strings and like ordering people around like he's the head honcho but like because we haven't seen him get down like i have no positive opinion about him right i don't see him in like a threatening light like for, like for example like he's like the big head honcho but i'm way more terrified of combustion man because we've seen him get down we've seen our crew struggle against him same thing with azula we've seen everybody struggle with azula in a, in the same way we've seen people struggle with zuko like I, i'm more afraid of those people but because like we're leading into this this big like hype moment now where we're supposed to be invading we gotta take down the fire lord you know like, the Fire Lord gotta be, like, one of the best firebenders, right? Or some shit. And, like, Aang has to go head up with him. Or maybe not. Maybe they, they finna jump him on some Power Rangers shit. That would be cool. But, <laughs> it would be an interesting twist. And that's probably where my prediction is. I feel like the, the Fire Lord ain't that nice. I feel like he ain't all that, that he's cracked up to be. I would love to be proven wrong. I would love to be proven wrong to be in like a fire fight scene to for him to like cement himself as a threat. That's what I want. Moving forward, that's not a prediction or anything. But like as like a want, a need for like the upcoming like the whole invasion arc or shall we call it. I want to see the Fire Lord do something. <laughs> I want to see him, 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 I don't know, throw hands, I don't know. Because the only other Fire Lord we've seen was the one in the Sozin, the Sozin episode with Oroku. And Roku kinda 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 manhandled him kinda kinda easily. So like fire fire lords ain't looking too hot in their little category. <laughs> but yeah, there's a lot There's a lot going on. And like I'm think I'm thinking again, like if they invade, Zuko's in trouble. Things is looking kinda smooth for him right now. 
people's loving him. He got his boo thing on one arm and on the other arm. He getting invites to the war room or table or whatever. Things is looking sweet. He's at his dad's right hand. But if Aang invades, because he's presumed like dead right now, everybody's going to be looking at him like, yo, damn, didn't, didn't you say you killed him? And Azul's, she ain't going to say nothing. She looking out for number one. <laughs> like, I know she's finessing him. <laughs> she's going to look at him like, well, Zuzu, didn't, didn't you say you killed him? <laughs> What's going on, Zuzu? <laughs> All right, bro. But like, let me stop talking because I don't, I, I want to make sure that like, <laughs> this uh webcam doesn't die again like i got a whole bunch of other, other things i would like to talk about but i feel like i should make sure everything's working with this webcam because i don't want this thing to cut off randomly you know and i lose my train of thought so maybe I'll, I'll write down my thoughts and then maybe at the beginning of the next episode the invasion episode that i presume it is i'll probably talk a little bit more but i want to make sure that this webcam's hunky dory before i move on so you already know the vibes Drink plenty of water, y'all. Tell your loved ones that you love them. And most importantly, stay golden. I'll catch you guys in the next episode of Avatar. And I hope it's not the series finale, because that would be trash. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, that would be trash. But <laughs> yeah, I'm out. See you. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you look right above me, you can see two of my previous videos. So, if you feel like supporting your boy, feel free to check them out. It's okay. Take your time. I'll just be right here when you're ready to watch them.